The question says you have a circle with a radius of 12 meters. And it has a, um, you want to find the arc made with the central angle at pi over 4. So we have our angle theta equals pi over 4. And they want to measure the arc. And this is something that we've kind of talked to a little bit, but I want to make sure that we're not confused on the understanding of radians. Because when I use the definition of radians, I took like the radius and like wrapped it around the circle, right? But remember, radians, remember radians, just like degrees, is a measurement of rotation. So when we're talking about radians, we're basically talking about the rotation between uh, these two rays, this, this measurement, which in this case is pi over 4. In this example problem, what we're actually doing is looking for like the arc. So if you think about this, think about like running on a track instead of a track around like a football field. You could, let's say, the track is a perfect circle. So how far are you actually running in this case? No, no, no. 45 degrees is the measure of rotation from here to here. It's not this length. So to identify this, to understand the length of the arc, there's actually a simple formula. All it is is if this arc we're going to represent as s, it's s equals the radius times theta. Okay. Now, so in this case, all we're simply going to do to find s is we're just going to take r, oops, I'm sorry, this is 12 meters, is, which is 12 meters times our theta, which is pi over 4. It is. Same thing. I'll explain that in just a second. So if we have 12 meters times 4, that equals 3 pi meters. Now we know that pi is roughly, right, 12 divided by 4 is 3. Well, because that's in the denominator, that's in the numerator. So you could just rewrite it as 12 meters pi over 4. 4 divides into 12 three times, right? So wouldn't you guys agree that 3, 3.14159, so this is roughly like 9.14159, right, meters? Yeah. OK, so that is it in radians. And a lot of you guys ought to want to immediately, well, let's just transfer to 45 degrees, 45 degrees. So why don't we do the same problem in 45 degrees? So s equals 12 meters times 45 degrees. Well, first of all, if we look at this, if we multiply 12 times 45 is, how many has the calculator out? OK. It is a big number. It's not. If anybody could just give it to me real quick, I forgot what the answer was. Huh? 540. So we have 540, and then that's what degrees meters like that. You can't like just get rid of the degrees, right? So first of all, let's just even pretend there wasn't even degrees. Let's just pretend that was a meters. Do you want to run nine? meters, roughly, or 540 meters? Do you guys see how these give you completely different answers? Correct? So we don't want to use degrees. So if you have a problem like this, and it ever, and it ever is in degrees, you'd want to make sure you convert it to radians, because this formula only works when theta is in radian measure. Okay. So I want to talk about this problem for two things. One, make sure you're not using degrees, because first of all, that doesn't give you the same answer as radians. And it doesn't really make sense as far as a unit style. And then two, understand radians is not this measurement of the arc. Radians is the measurement of rotation for that arc. OK? It's the angle right there. Which, yeah, pi over 4 is equivalent to 45 degrees. right? But when you're using this formula to find s, or in this formula for anything to find the radius, whatever, just make sure you have theta in radians. OK? Yes, no, maybe so? Yes.